For the continuing story of violence at the Virginia Beach oceanfront, you may have heard about this weekend. Three shootings, three stabbings, three robberies, and two assaults, all within a four-hour window this weekend. We are told all of the victims should be okay. Police arrested these four men, Kevin and Keon Perry of Chesapeake, Kendall Jones of Chesapeake, and Daquan Johnson of Norfolk in connection with one of the assaults. Now, we want to show you this video of a fight shot by a witness. Many tell us they saw a number of fights just like this. Ten of your sides, Anita Blanton, joins us now live from the oceanfront. So, Anita, what are residents saying about all of this? Oh, well, let me start with this. Obviously, much different sight than what we've been seeing in that video from over the weekend. Now, the residents that you were just speaking of that we spoke to out here say they've either never seen anything like it or haven't seen anything like it in at least decades. Now, take a look right up here. You see we're at 18th Street and Atlantic Avenue. We spoke to folks all the way down to 27th Street that say their ears are still ringing tonight. <laughs> This loud crowd and the events of this night have left Virginia Beach residents near the oceanfront in shock. And it was so many people, it was frightening. Unaware of what events were taking place at the beach this weekend, Evelyn Griggs ventured out to one of the local stores Saturday night. I wonder what in the world is happening. I don't know what's going on. There's so many people at one spot. She's lived here 40 years. She's seen a lot of things, but couldn't recall anything like this any time in recent years. So imagine if you saw this and you just moved here and made the oceanfront your home. I had a couple friends in, that live here and I uh, liked it when I visited them a few times, so I thought it'd be a good place to move. Anthony's mom came to visit them this weekend, and she definitely didn't get a good night's sleep. She actually told us the next morning that she was awoken at around 3 o'clock, and she heard gunshots, and she said she sounded like it was really close. It was just a few blocks away that chaos was breaking out. In less than a year, they're already thinking about moving further inland closer to their jobs. Last weekend was a rude awakening, but other residents say you shouldn't take it as the norm. We may have a bad night, but you know, it's on top of, you know, 100 good nights. Jonathan Haywood was a little sleep deprived too. I have my doors open, my windows open. It's a safe area around here. Uh, all of a sudden, gunshots, you know, woke me up three times that night. He says things get wild over the summer and that city leaders should look at ways to curtail this particular event. The problem? How do you plan for a crowd you never anticipated getting this big? The mayor says between 30 and 40,000 people were out here over the weekend. He says that they had 88 police officers down here to try to keep people as safe as possible. And we're finally hearing from the people who actually planned this weekend's event. And we'll turn it over to the studio for that part of the story. Nicole? All right, Anita, thanks for that live report. We received an official statement from the organizers of Beach Weekend. This is new at 11. It says in part, quote, we the organizers of Beach Weekend disavow any connection to these events and repudiate the perpetrators. It was our indefatigable effort to ensure appropriate security and as a result, there were no fights, shootings or stabbings at any of our sponsored events or venues. The reports have been misleading and inaccurate. And